Hey guys, Steve here with Muse Themes. A user recently sent us this site, which is called Canva. And Canva is a simple graphic design tool that you can use on the web. Now on the landing page for the Canva site, you see they have this simple form, but actually as you move your mouse, the background reveals itself. So it's kind of this blurred out image and then it's clear wherever you move the mouse. So we love this effect and we thought we would take on the challenge to try and build something that worked like this in Muse. So we went ahead and built a widget called the Image Reveal effects widget and it does exactly this as you can see we have a blurry image in the background here and as we move the mouse over it reveals the image behind and you can control things like the size or radius of this brush that you're kind of brushing away the blur with or you can use this effect not just on the background but on a specific image on the site as you can see on this demo if I click the element example we have three different boxes here with different overlay styles and they reveal themselves as we move the cursor around. So it's a highly experimental widget. Uh, browser compatibility with this is quite good. However, you'll find that some of the motion on different browsers changes the ability for it to be nice and smooth or it kind of jumps to specific nodes depending on the browser. So again, this is an experimental widget and we thought it would be a really kind of cool effect just to play around with. So if we jump into Muse, I've already downloaded the widget into my library here. It's called the Image Reveal Effects. So let's just go ahead and drag it out on the canvas and we'll set up a new effect. So once it's out on the canvas, let's have a look at the flyout panel. We have the image type and right now it's set to background fill. Now you can change that to use a block image if you want. And a block image is just an image or an, a small image that's been set to fill a frame on the site. And I'll walk you through how to use that after, but let's leave it set now on background fill. Now we have the blur. So what the blur is, is it determines how well you're going to see that image in the background. So let's go ahead and set a background or a browser fill for this site. If you just click browser fill up here in the top and add an image, I'm just going to set an image that we have from an upcoming T-Shop template. And let's just add that to the background. I'm going to set it to scale the fill so it looks a little bit better. Okay. And now let's make sure we have some settings that we want to see here. So I'll leave the blur set at 50 so that we can see what that looks like. Now the overlay color, this is obviously the color that you're going to be brushing away. So for an image like this, maybe let's set something like white. Okay, now we have the overlay opacity. So right now this is set to 50%. So let's leave it at that. And the brush radius, that's how I mentioned the size of the brush or the size of the cursor as you move it around. So we'll more or less leave the default settings and preview this in the browser to see how it looks. Okay, so you can see as our browser loads here, we have the image which is blurred out with a white overlay. And as we move our cursor over it, it reveals it. So it's working quite well. So this blur is pretty drastic. You can't really see what's behind very well. So let's go ahead and change the settings on this. We'll drop the blur to about 25 and we'll drop the opacity to about 0.4. Okay, let's check that out and see if that looks any better. So you can see with re the reduced blur, you can actually tell what the image in the background is. And you might want to use this if you want to encourage people to kind of move around over the image and see what's going on behind. Now let's apply this to a block level element. So I'm going to just delete out this browser fill for a minute. Let's just remove that completely. And let's take the rectangle tool and let's draw a new frame in Muse. So just something like that. Now for that frame with it selected, let's go up to the fill and let's add an image background to the fill so we can select something a little different. This is a picture of a coffee cup and we'll apply it there. I'm gonna set it to scale the fill so we can see it. Okay, perfect. So now on our widget flyout panel, we need to change the type to a block image. And now it asks you for a block image graphic style name. So let's just create a graphic style based on this image. If I just go into my graphic styles panel here, let's create one and we'll call it fill, just like that and it's applied. And let's go ahead and enter fill into our panel there, and that's it. So I'm gonna leave the blur set at the same, and let's go for the overlay color to black, perhaps. And now what I'm gonna do is drop the brush radius. 150 is probably a bit wide for an image of this size, so if we go to something smaller, just 50, let's say, let's see if that looks pretty good. So I'll preview this in the browser. There, so the black overlay is applied, and as we move the mouse across, you can see that it's revealing the image behind.
So that's the image reveal effects tool. It's a new experimental widget for us, but I'd love to see what users are doing with it. And I'd recommend too that if you're using this widget, try using it on pages where you have an obvious call to action in the center. I think it's a great way to add just some interest to the background, but really leave your central content prominent, whether it be a contact form like this or a sign up form or a page entry, something like that. Let us know what you think and thanks again. Cheers.